What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and yeah, today we got, uh, it's the actual, like, full-on amazing news, just about what's coming up for the 10th anniversary, which is dope. Now, we don't have exact information about what is happening, but judging from the brief little bit of information that we have in the teaser video, we can make a couple of assumptions in terms of what is likely going to be arriving for the 10th anniversary. So, we'll go through all this tweet, we'll show the video, and we'll break down everything that we see, and we'll talk about exactly what we think is going to be happening here. So, this tweet went live at news time. Nakama, Treasure Cruise's 10th anniversary teaser trailer is here. Save the date May 12th, May 11th, depending on where you are in the world. Check out the 10th anniversary logo and upcoming events in the trailer. More info is coming later on April 18th, PST time. Let the celebrations begin. There is a hashtag as well for OPTC10, so make sure to go ahead and use that if you are, you know, obviously on the X slash Twitter space. But let's go ahead and go through this video and uh, and have a look exactly what they're showing off because uh, this is pretty cool. I just love it when they do these teaser videos like this, showing off the brand new logo for One Piece Treasure Cruise's 10th anniversary. And as you can see there, we have Monkey D. Luffy in the Gear 5 state. Uh, so it looks like the headliner unit, at least judging from what we can see from the logo the headlining unit is most likely going to be gear 5 luffy i don't think too many people are going to be really surprised about that uh i think most people kind of thought that was going to be the case anyway i mean we, we kind of knew that because of how big the anniversary is going to be this time around luffy being the mainline headliner unit it makes a lot of sense gear 5 obviously is such a huge thing it makes perfect sense like it, it, I, we, we get it but what we don't know is like Obviously, what the character is going to do, is it going to be Luffy featured with something else? Is it going to be featuring other characters? Like, there's just a lot of questions we don't currently know, but obviously seeing this for the first time, it looks great. I actually really love this logo, so I assume that this is going to be pretty much plastered everywhere in the game over the next month or two, so definitely look forward to seeing that a bit more. Treasure Crew celebrates its 10th anniversary on May 12th, and it says OPTC 10th anniversary super thank you campaign is coming soon. I don't know if this is referring to just the bounty reward system where we get a bunch of legend tickets based on our bounty uh, and, our, and our alliance bounty, or if this is a brand new celebration, I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head, but we get some campaign coming soon, which is nice to see. And then it says a large scale update is on the way, which we know uh, version, whatever number it's going to be at this point, uh, is going to be going live towards the end of the month. A uh, letter from the OPTC team is coming up on the 18th of April. So 18th of April, mark it down in your calendars. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a big one. What day of the week is the 18th of April? So that's going to be a Thursday. So that's really cool. Um, so make sure that when it goes live, uh, we'll be making a video about it because we're likely going to get our first look at the brand new update, which of course the co-op quest we know is going to be arriving. But there's also a lot of other information too that hopefully the update will, will bring along with it and there you can see the logo once again the 10th anniversary for one piece treasure cruise it is crazy to think that the game is already at its 10th anniversary man it's wild but yeah so what can we expect moving forward so first thing is is they, they did state that there's going to be a new letter so this is the letter that came out march 24th so this is like three weeks old at this point nearly nearly get you know like two to three weeks old um so this is what we got last month in regards to uh, just everything that was coming out. So they talk about the worldwide anniversary campaign, which was underway, which had already been happening and in terms of like who, who won the event. And then they also talked about the upcoming banner with Dofi Sugar and Moria and Perona. But then they further talked about the upcoming schedule, talking about the April Fool celebration, uh, a little bit more teasers for co-op quest, and then talking about the Grand Feast Sugo Fest, which We'll, re we'll be relating to co-op quest in some way shape or form talking about how you don't use rainbow gems to summon on this sugo fest you use items that you get from completing the co-op quest so it's a new kind of functionality that's going to be implemented into the game and hopefully this is going to be a really neat system for people to get characters without actually having to spend their own rainbow gems so we will see it does say um, scheduled details and more information on the large scale update featuring the Grand Feast Sugo Fest will be revealed in the OPTC letter in late April. So they that does confirm that yeah we're going to see more information in regards to this feature because this this thing just we didn't really know what to expect because this is like new functionalities like this is we've never seen this before. Um, so my theories about this is that the Grand Feast Sugo 
is going to feature like brand new characters but I would think it would also feature some older characters as well and then by completing co-op quest you would earn the currency to spend on this Sugo Fest and I would guess that after you do a certain amount of multis you would get the new unit guaranteed and I feel like it's kind of like, in a way, kind of like Kizuna Clash, but instead of using your tickets to summon for like items and stuff, you're straight up just summoning for units. And if they're bringing new characters into this Sugo Fest, maybe there's like quote unquote free to play legends that you can get literally for free just by playing the co op quest, owning the materials, and in turn using those materials to pull on the Sugo Fest. Again, there's just a lot of information that we don't have at hand to talk about like what this could actually mean but this is exciting stuff but like what else is even going to be featured like uh, we know that the new update is coming we know co-op quests and the grand feast sugar fest is coming but in terms of exact quality of life updates or any new character functionalities because the last couple of years i mean if we go back to last year's big april update is when they introduced the rush sugo special 12 months prior to that they introduced super tandem and then 12 months prior to that they introduced final tap so the last few years in a row we've been introduced with these new mechanics for characters to improve gameplay and I wonder if they're going to do something along those lines where we have a new feature added to the game that the new anniversary unit is going to be applying in some way shape or form. We just don't have a lot of information yet but i mean if we go back to the 10th anniversary logo i actually really love this logo man the one here with uh with luffy um so we know gear 5 is going to be pretty much coming at this point i would be shocked if this is the logo and gear 5 is not like the actual unit for the celebration that would be a little strange but i mean look we already have gear 5 luffy in the game obviously uh and I would hope that they go down a slightly different route. Like, the obvious release of Gear 5 was a massive celebration in the game. We all get that. And this character, at least the, the, just the generic 6-star form of this guy, was solely focused around this ability of revival, bypassing defensive effects, and then you have the super evolution of this guy with the ability with this Rush Sugo special whilst also being super effective against all types, having a special that works with everyone, uh, buffing attack boost or orb boost depending on what you already have, super powerful super type special, basically being like a buffed version of Goldie Roger, and obviously using these two in tandem together, one as a friend captain, one as your own captain, it becomes one of the best teams in the game, basically against any colored content due to Luffy being super effective against those types of units. But, I mean, I don't expect them to release another Gear 5 to be in the same beat as these types of units. I would expect a color change, probably still going to be Free Spirit Fighter in some way, shape, or form. But I really hope that we see some unique mechanics for, the, for a character such as this. Really hope to see some new, refreshing things. And, I mean, if I had to take a stab at what the character may potentially look like, they could go down the anime, or the manga route, should I say. And, like, a panel like this, for example, which we know is going to be coming up somewhat soon in uh, in the anime so i wouldn't be shocked if like potentially the unevolved artwork or even if the evolved artwork looks similar to this and if that is the case it means that the anniversary just straight up might be solely focused around what's going on in egghead right now and if that is the case i wouldn't be too upset about that um but we'll see like rob lucci with his awakened zone form i think that that's almost a shoe in to be happening either right before anniversary or if it doesn't happen right before the annie he's probably going to be one of the anniversary units which is kind of wild for rob lucci to be in that kind of discussion if i had to take a guess i would say rob lucci is going to be either the kizuna unit for this month or he's going to be the end of month batch right before the release of anniversary they could potentially relegate him to a Rumble Legend, but I think that would be a little disrespectful in all honesty, but we'll see. Um, but let me know your thoughts and opinions, guys, down below in the comment section about this exciting news about the anniversary. Can't wait to see more information. And of course, once we get all of the info that we know coming on April 18th, I'll make a separate video for you guys discussing the information that we have at hand because we've got some really cool stuff to look forward to. But just wanted to make this quick video for you guys discussing uh, all of this information that was just revealed. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.